hey guys good morning welcome back to my channel guys welcome back to my channel you're tuned in to the rose family channel i'm the beautiful rose welcome guys welcome guys this morning i just come to discuss the bin issue i'm having at my house Cornwall Council do better do better Cornwall Council do better okay let me just tell you guys from the beginning when I first moved here the bin was collected every week and you could have had um, two bins um, they also do recycling guys I just gonna mention that so I don't forget they do recycling you know we have to recycle most of the stuff plastic cans and um, they that's what I'm used to because I wanted to jump the gun a bit now okay every week on a Tuesday the bins was always collected and the recycle I think that was collected every two weeks if I'm not wrong Anyone out there that's watching my vlog that lives where I live can correct me. Now, present day, moving forward, I think it was from in the summertime, probably July or so, end of July. They had new bin regulation. They changed over the bins. They gave you a black bin and the recycling situation has turned up a notch because it's like it wasn't as strict. Um prior but now it's much more strict you got one bin per household and recycling stuff then you got a green bucket type thing for food waste like anyone got time for that yeah hear me out people i've realized in the uk when they modernize something called um change up something it is never for the better you're always going downhill going downhill is never for the better so i'm very frustrated every time like my house is full of rubbish because you tell me now i don't know who had this meeting and decided that it's a good idea to have persons having one bin yeah in a four bedroom house a four bedroom house that can hold up to six seven people in my case it's five yeah i don't know who sat down and come up with that and then to make matters worse this is not every week it's every two weeks people So I'm finding myself having to, like, the in, initially when they change over the, the bins and give us the one bin, I had my old bin, so I was keeping it and putting in rubbish in. Um, I see they put in, like, they wouldn't collect it. They wouldn't collect it. They would not collect it. Not once, not twice. They would not collect it. So then I'd have to pack the bins in my car and take it up to the recycling place to dump it. Listen, let me tell you guys out there, Cornwall Council. I cope with mental health every day. And the elements is already against me. Yeah? Especially in winter time. It takes a lot for me to want to be out in the public. Yeah? Mentally, physically. If I'm having a day when I'm like, doo -doo -doo, sunshine and roses. If I'm not in my prayer, my Bible. There were times when I physically couldn't come out my yard. Yeah. And now you people having me going, ah, in my brain about your new bin situation. A four bedroom house cannot cope under one bin. And I'm not here to be doing you lot's job. I ain't got the mental capacity. I cannot. I literally haven't got the mental capacity to be racking up every time. And even in the recycling place now, guys, when you could turn up with your dump and chuck it, 
Now you have to book. You have to put on your car registration. You have to go on your phone. Look here, people. Do I look like I'm the type of person? When I do go on my phone and do things like that to do it, um, writing letters and, and um, filling out anything, it's a lot for me. It take a lot off my brain space to get myself into that state. That I want to squint my eyes and they're writing you a letter or filling out anything to go dump off anything. So that's been changed as well recently as, as well, guys. So even that, even when I'm there thinking, oh, if it's not one thing, it's the other. So we are in recession in the UK. I don't want nobody squeezing my balls. I don't want nobody squeezing my balls. Yeah? Kind of a council like pressuring us only the fittest survive. Listen, I need to survive. I've got my children, but I'm not letting you lot stress me out. With these little corners that you want to cut here and there to put pressures in families and make things worse for them. I even went to the point, like I said, I do not like to be sitting down filling out form. It's not my natural thing. My natural thing is to try my best, clean the house and cook some food and make sure my kids get from A to B. Yeah, that's my natural, that's, you know, that's where I'm at now. That's where I'm at. I'm getting old. I don't want to be thinking about, um, I ain't got nowhere to put my rubbish. I don't want to be thinking about that. And then I went as far as my neighbour told me, you know, you can apply for a new bin. I went on the website. I navigate my way. Took me time. Fill in the form. Only to hear that I've been refused. Because these people want me to tell lies on myself. These people want me to tell lies on myself. Because the only way you're going to get a bin is if you have children under three. Or you've got like waste. Maybe you have um, disabled person in the, the facilities that you have to be using. I don't know. This is what I'm guessing. That These are some of the criterias. Under, under three children and stuff. So you want me to be there lying. Putting stuff that. It doesn't apply to me. But I've got my children there, yeah, and myself in the house, a four-bedroom house, yeah. So I now come and, and tell you my story, and you're refusing me. Not once, twice that. Twice. The other day I see, I, I, call, I call up the school to say, my, my child, and to be fair, my child, you know, they weren't unwell. But I decided I'm keeping them off school, and I had to go and say, um, they're ill. And the pressure that put on me just to go tell the school because I didn't want to go the long road. Because when you're telling them, your spirit don't tell you. Or you, you want to keep your kids home for one, one day out of the year. Next me, you know, you could have a social worker rocking up at your door to come and step in your throat. For like a little one day off. Because this particular day, my child, it was his birthday. And I decide I don't want... um. The children missing out on because the house was in a chaotic state because of my new kitchen and i'm thinking you know the only little thing i have to do is to celebrate and cut a cake and i don't want nobody missing out on that because they look forward to it they look forward to when it's your birthday if it's even a cake you try and acknowledge it and they look forward to it these people need to put new things in place i'm not saying oh oh uh, I'm in agreement to be taking your kids out of school willy nilly. But if you look on the, 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 whatever you call it, and you see that child is a, a regular at school, barely ever been off, and you want to take a day, you should be able to say, you want to take a day. These people are forcing you to tell lies. That's what I'm seeing, guys. These people are forcing you to tell lies. And nobody forcing me to tell no lies. Because I told you now, I kid you not, if they call me back, I'm just telling you, mind you, you know, people always come and come tell you the truth. Yeah? If they call me back and say, Miss Reed, do you, do you lie? Yeah, then I say, yes. I put my hand up. Arrest me. He wasn't actually sick or whatnot. But I just needed the day. But because of how your system work, I'm left with no choice sometimes, which I feel very bad about. Because the system of forcing people to come and tell lies. And 
and then you're very blurred because you don't know the truth from the lie. And this is what everybody tends to. Oh. Wheel and deal. You know. <laughs> Let me fabricate this story. I've got three underage, you know, one and two year old. No. I want to be able to say things how it is without people thinking I'm going to do lally or having people rack up at my door to put excess stress on me, etc, etc. So I don't have any underage children. Yeah, I've got my children them to this days, stage that they're at. I don't want to be suffering. Then perhaps some people who probably go back and get themselves pregnant at my big age just to fit in with your criterias. Rubbish! It doesn't take a scientist to know that a four-bedroom house cannot survive with one small bin. It doesn't. One small bin every two weeks. So Cornwall Council, out. And I don't want nobody telling me, oh, I should have tried twice. Me, that don't like to sit down and write nothing because they're stressing myself out to do cross the T's and dot the I's. Whoever come up with that solution, remind me of the people them that tell us in COVID time to sit in our yard and not come out. And they're over there drinking red and white wine, eating crackers and cheese. Yeah. So when you're in your little meetings or ever pass down these things to you lot in your workplace, you should tell them that that don't make no sense or differentiate. So if it's a one bedroom house, then you could probably have the ratio to say, okay, maybe they can survive under one bin. But even the fact that you have to stretch it and survive under that one bin every two weeks, it don't make no sense. But let alone a four-bedroom house every two weeks under one bin. Make it make sense. Yeah? So all these little things to kill off who can't survive under those kind of mental pressure. Yeah? We're already suffering financially. Yeah? I need a bin. I need the bin. I need the bin. My house is chocked up, chock a black. With black bags. And the atmosphere is, you can cut it with a knife now. No, 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 no. Me can't live, so me can't cope, so. I mean, I'm going to tip me over the edge, leave my children them behind to suffer and figure out their way. I ain't letting you lot tip me over the edge. So please, somebody out there need to come up and say, Oh, this idiotic idea of one bed, um, one bin per house every two weeks is nonsense. Nonsense. Or I have to sit there and fill the forms with lies. Lies for your criteria to get an extra bin. Lies. I don't like telling lies. Because I'm getting to the age. I don't want to have to come and say lies because it goes against everything out of my fate. That's one. It goes against my fate. It goes against when I have to th I'm gonna have to go think what I told you now and register all of that in my brain. I don't I don't stress my brain like that. Yeah, I don't want nobody practicing me to tell lie because this is a problem that's happening with the UK. This is the problem. So please, I beg you, I don't fit your criteria. My youngest child is five. Five. Hear me saying chatting rubbish. My youngest child is seven. Seven. You can see the problem. Yeah? Half the time, I don't even know which day it is. So I don't want you lot sending me no farm to fill out for simple little things that you guys should know. You guys should know. Because it's you, you lot that's out there now in the job space. My youngest child is seven years old and then I have the rest of them. So I don't fit in your thingy criteria. But the nonsense of talking about a four bedroom house to run under one bill bin every two weeks. 
somebody sort it out because you pushing you pushing people over the edge and i walked and i see like when i'm driving i'm seeing the people then with their bins spilling over spilling over and i wonder if i chop my ba black bags on the floor if they're gonna get picked because several times several times i'm left wondering what to do with my rubbish but i see i drive past other places and see people leaving their black bags on the floor I wonder if they get picked up. I wonder if they get picked up because you can see that people are not coping under your one bin ratio every two weeks. They're not coping. And in my area, if I leave a black bag at the side of my bin, which like I said, I doubt you lot are collecting because mu you, oh, you must have some problem with my yard. But we live very near the sea. We got seagulls. So all of my dirty laundry will be picked up by the seagulls for the neighbors to see. So you tell me now. You tell me now. And you look all of a sudden wanna get rich, um strict, strict, tightening up, tightening up. And tightening up on the nonsense. Tightening up on the nonsense. Listen. Listen, make it make it make sense, yeah? Make it make sense and stop adding extra pressure to innocent human beings, yeah? That dep depend on you. And I also point out, if you owe council tax, that's one of the one bill in this country you don't want to be owing. Yeah, let's point out that. Council tax is one of the one bill because they'll have bailiffs come tearing down your yard if you owe them the bill and you're there having problem with us struggling with bins. That's, you can owe water, you can owe light, you can owe this, you can owe that, but if you owe a council tax and make it past a certain stage, may the good Lord go with you because they're going to drag you. So I don't expect to have no bin, bin. Bin problem. I don't want to have no bin problem. Because of all the problem I have in the world. A bin problem is not one of them that I want to have. So get your acts together. Get your acts together in your little room and your little meetings. Yeah? Get your acts together. And I don't want to take up no extra job. Yeah? Pay people so they can do their jobs. And do it with sense. That's what I have to say. That's what I have to say. Like, comment, share and subscribe, guys. Like, comment, share and subscribe. And like I always say, if you can't look after yourself, you can't look after nobody else. So, Cornwall Council at this point, me can't look after myself. Because every time I'm driving home now to go to my yard, everywhere I look is black bags. Is that how you want us to live in the UK? Black bags, black bags, stored up. No thanks. No thank you.